Hi, my name is Anton, and in this video I will show you the limitations of one-shot learning. This video is the brief version of my Medium article. You can find the link in the description and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, what models are called one-shot? There are a bunch of models. Usually it's a big pre-trained models. Sometimes they are prompt based, sometimes they use different dis disentanglement technique. And in this video I will mention clip, ground in Dyna, uh, interimage, mask to former, segment anything, and probably something else, like GPT-4 for example. Uh, I love to use these models in production. For example, with clip, you can just clusterize your data like this. Uh, look, works excellent for some cases. For example, if your data set looks like CIFAR or ImageNet or something like this, all your uh, classes will look like some clouds. I'm surprised that a lot of engineers don't use this technique, but like clip is the one of the good technique to run this. Uh, but do this work each time? No. And here is a good example. I have small data set with two types of pizza and uh, half of them with bacon and half of them with pineapple. How will this represent, like clip uh, representation look like uh, for this data set? This. And you can distinguish these two classes, classes based on clip and even on the open clip. Uh, that's definitely better. So, Here's the problem. And where is the limit of this problem? Let's start from accuracy limitation. Uh, all one shot technique will be worse than good pre-trained models. And they will be, of course, worse than the model that will be trained on your specific data set. So, in general case, uh, if you have data set, even few thousand of images, probably it will be great to fine-tune some big existing model and the accuracy, like 99%, will be better than any one-shot learning model at all. Okay, it's the first limitation. Second limitation. Uh, Date drift. And uh, let's return to the sample with pizzas. It's a good example. And uh, let me show you uh, how uh, ground in Dina work on pizza images. Here's the examples. And as you can see, uh, the detections are incorrect, even for excellent pizzas. So probably sometimes you can detect something, but definitely if you want to uh, recognize your type of pizza, your type of topping, you need to train your own model. Probably it could be based on one of these models, but uh, such models, they just don't have a uh, same data in the data set they were trained on. And uh, this problem, it's not only about uh, pizza, it's about, uh, not only about this uh, data set issue, but also we could take some easier examples. For example, uh, this one. I love this image because it's completely shot from the top. And uh, models don't have a lot of such data in the training datasets. And as you can see, 
for example, gr ground in Dina couldn't recognize a person or even head of the person there. Uh, here is an example of mask two former. The only detection is stairs. Here is the example of segment anything model, and mm, it creates some mm, detections for few of the persons, but not all of them, and some of them are incorrect. Next, uh, date drift it's, is about some low quality images. For example, uh, I uh, create this bird uh, feeder uh, like eight years ago. And uh, in this bird feeder, I uh, used uh, Raspberry Pi 1 uh, to recognize the bird presence. And this bird feeder sent me the image of uh, the bird. Uh, I took a uh, few images from this setup, and here are ex the examples. Uh, this is uh, detection of uh, ground in Dina, Dina. And as you can see, it doesn't work in bad cases. Here is the segmentation from segment anything. It also doesn't work each time. Uh, but in 2016, to recognize the birds, I had the quality around 99% with uh, squeeze net, cafe squeeze net, uh, with training data set around uh, 500 or a bit more images. And uh, it worked worked surprisingly well so uh, and the speed of this neural network is a few times faster uh, even a lot of time faster than uh, grounding dyna and uh, sometimes for such low quality it will not work uh, the other good example uh, of these limitations it's around um, uh, person detection uh, the person is the most common object in all of the data set. But uh, if the person is non-standard, for example, the child, uh, here is examples from my different hobby project. And as you can see, uh, there are a lot of detection missed. And uh, the quality is around pre-trained OpenVINO uh, detector, person detector on the same data. And uh, it's pretty sad because uh, it's common object and uh, the accuracy is not perfect. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let me show you different problem uh, and limitation, but it's more specific specifically for uh, some pre-trained models uh, like segment anything and uh, more about uh, some big pre-trained without a text prompt with them. Uh, here you can see me in front of the camera and as you can see uh, there is no head detection. So uh, only skin layer uh, glasses layer, like a uh, person layer, but no layer with complete head that uh, have like uh, this part with uh, hairs and uh, that end in something there. It's commonly used detection, but uh, a lot of some of pre-trained neural network work will not uh, have uh, your specific case that it's good for you. Okay, uh, let's look at the next limitation. It's the performance limitation. As I already mentioned, the quality of SqueezeNet on Raspberry Pi was better than uh, Ground in Dyna or uh, Segment Anything quality on the same data. But uh, it's the limitation for real time. 
and some edge uh, application. But of course, uh, for some application, it's not the problem. For example, if you use like segment anything model to label your data, or when you use a clip model to uh, segment some anomalies in your data, uh, or when you use uh, some teacher network and uh, student network. So a, a lot of uh, tasks, uh, for a lot of tasks, the current performance will be great. But uh, don't forget for that you need to clarify your task and your performance for this task. And the last limitation in my list is the complexity of support. So uh, to train, for example, intern video, you need like uh, 128 uh, A100 GPU for two weeks. It's a lot and a lot of small startups, they couldn't afford such waste of money. And uh, when you need to retrain some model, uh, some big model, you need a lot of GPUs and you need an uh, engineer who will uh, work on this project like few weeks or months to set up all the training pipelines. And uh, it's much harder than train like something like YOLO v5 or so on. And you should um, check this before you uh, will think about I will use this model. It's pretty important limitation. So, conclusion. One-shot neural, neural networks are great. Uh, they allow us to run a lot of different uh, tasks and to solve them but they are not a silver bullet and you need to understand the limitation of each one of them before you will uh, take it in your project and work with it uh, thank you for your attention don't forget to subscribe on my linkedin and youtube bye